All right, what's going on, guys? Hope you're doing well. Safe and sound away from all this craziness in our world. And uh, today's November 12th, 2021. And we're about to do something um, very different today. I'm sort of, many of you may not know, is uh, a few years ago, I became an uh, ordained pastor, which actually allows me to marry people, um, do different ceremonies, stuff like that. But it is uh, kind of returning to God, which um, is something that has been happening for a little while, but uh, is full force now. And... Um, I'm absolutely positively fucking sickened. And by the way, God doesn't care if you swear, okay? By using strong words to get your point across, it is what it is. Anyways, it may not be the holiest of things some people may say, but nothing in the Bible about the swears. Anyways, it doesn't matter. We're getting, that's what ADD does to get you sidetracked, right? So after this Travis Scott bullshit that's been going on, um, I watched some of the concert. I saw what was happening. I saw the symbols that were enacted inside of this. And regardless of what your opinion is, I really don't care. You know, when you're wearing a shirt that depicts these blue people going through a portal or a door and turning into devils or demons, that image of the person that's going through the door, think about it. Like when you look at the handicap stickers, the, the things on the, um, the doors of the bathrooms and stuff like that, that symbol of a person like that, that's very nondescript, but a human being, right, shows or it depicts a human being. His shirt depicts a human being turning into a fucking demon, okay? I, I've, I've had enough. I've had enough of this bullshit of people rationalizing and stuff. I've had enough of people supporting him with the crazy shit that they're doing. I don't believe that Travis Scott is on the up and up. It's my personal opinion. I will no longer support him because now I see things very clearly. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. Hang on one second. I'll be right back. All right, so you guys may know that I am a reformed sneakerhead. And one of my favorite pairs of sneakers was the Travis Scott... Air Jordan 1, the original ones, the Mocha's. And um, honestly, I don't want these things. I don't want anybody to have these things. I don't want anybody to support them. Look, you talk about canceling? Yeah, I'm canceling Travis Scott. You know what? People have been canceling people for two fucking years. Canceling somebody for being into Satanism? Oh, fucking well. That's what's happening right now. So we're going to do something to these fucking sneakers that'll make them... Right now, I checked today, they're worth $1,800. So I got $1,800 in my hands right now. And I'm about to do something to make them worth zero and make sure nobody ever gets his hands on these fucking satanic tools ever again. All right, let's get this shit started. So just in case someone does find these sneakers, we're going to put a cross on there first. That's right, Travis. We're going to put the symbol of God, Father and Son, and the Holy Spirit right on your satanic bullshit right here. All right? This marker's actually dying a little bit. We're going to take... All these crazy Sharpies that don't come off and smell that leather. <laughs> all these crazy Sharpies and all this bullshit here. And we're going to make them worth fucking umgots. <coughs> it's not about money. Fuck money. It's about these fucking scumbags. Having an influence over you and the other. Actually, actually turned out pretty cool. They did. Fuck. I'm going to have to cut holes in them and shit. Anyway. Do you remember what's behind you on the wall? Yeah. Raphael, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do we need new Sharpies? Cut. Yeah, we definitely need new Sharpies. All right, step two. Aaron has these things that are made to cut through clothes <laughs> to work. Oh, boy, do they cut through clothes. Well, that's <laughs> like right they're through. supposed to cut through your belts and stuff. Cut through the leather over here? Yeah, yep. Maybe we should set them on fire and return them back to hell. Yeah, I thought about it, but my luck, I'm going to set them on fire right, and the house the next door is going to go on fire or some shit like that, you know, like... Call the cops, you know. Yeah, they'd be like, somebody's burning sneakers outside and the cops will show up and say, what are you doing, burning Travis Scott's? <laughs> not this, today, Satan, not today! <laughs> <laughs> this is like the worst breakup I've ever seen you go through. <laughs> Well, sometimes you just cut I the mean, picture, I, light on fire, you, like, and call it a day. I, I like the dude. You know, I actually mm -hmm. did. And the more I looked into I him, know. this is not the only time that he's done shit like this. I know. And he's put up stuff like this. You know what I mean? And I saw that video and I put it on my social media of him literally standing there. All these people were just dropped. And he was fucking chanting. And it was this weird. It, it's just fucked up. And there's a lot of people that may not believe it. But there's a lot of people that went to that concert that I have seen that have opened their eyes. And they're like, this is fucking crazy. Like, this is insane. Insane. Travis saying like, hey, y'all, we're all going to hell. This is the rapture. You're not going to heaven. You're going to hell and you're coming with me. And I was oh, let me explain something to real quick. Before everybody starts screaming and saying, oh, like I told y'all earlier, you motherfuckers entered the rapture. And if ain't nobody flying up to heaven right now, obviously all y'all motherfuckers. 
of going to hell. Right with me. So, let's get it. Oh, you already here. I'm so sorry. You can't get out. You're stuck. It's over. You heard the song a million times and you didn't even know. It's just like, look, regardless of what you think or, you know, he's, he's trying to, you know, be outlandish. Where's the punchline? Where's the joke? You know, what's funny about going to hell? What's funny about following him to hell? I don't understand. Like, tell me the punchline so I understand it. You know, and what's fucked up is I have people saying stuff like, well, Jerry, back in the day, Ozzy Osbourne did the same thing. No, what happened to Ozzy Osbourne was he put out albums that people couldn't fucking deal with. One was called Bark at the Moon. It's about a werewolf. Motherfucker, they've been werewolf movies for the last 35, 40 years, right? So he comes out with the, the Bark at the Moon album, and they start going, oh, it's satanic. When you play it backwards, it's satanic. Ozzy actually went to court. He was in court. I remember watching it on TV. He went to court because they thought they got him, and they played it backwards. Listen. I can say the Our Father right now, and if you play it backwards, it sounds satanic, okay? Everything sounds satanic backwards. They found that it was complete bullshit. There was, like, this stuff about him biting the head off a bat. Yeah, he bit the head off a bat. In a huge concert, someone threw a live bat on stage that he thought was a rubber he bat, and he picked it up bat. and bit the head off and was like, holy shit, he had to get a bunch of tetanus shots and everything because mm -hmm. he bit the head off a live bat that may have had rabies. First of all, it was a little crazier back then. People bring live bats to concerts. You don't see shit like that anymore. But the bottom line was... It's not the same. It was the people that try to persecute someone because they didn't understand. It wasn't the fact that you actually saw those people, like Ozzy Osbourne and those guys, worshiping the devil and trying to get other people to worship them too. I'm trying to figure out maybe one more cut here just to. Don't cut through the cross. We like the cross. Yeah. I guess it's still a cross no matter what happens to it. Well, and people can argue that you know, shock value and all that stuff. Like Madonna, but like, dude, yeah. this is where was, this where was is Madonna not with all thing. the satanic shit? Yeah, right? Where was fucking David level. Hasselhoff when he was on Baywatch with all the satanic shit? Where was any of them? You know, where nothing was, you know, I mean, now we're starting to see shit like Lady Gaga. We're starting to see shit like Travis Scott. We're starting to see some of these celebrities start to show their true colors. And it's like this, you know, this spirit cooking shit. If you don't know what spirit cooking is, Google that shit and see how many people showed up at that. Like, don't, even don't if go. you're, even if you're, thinking it is for shock value what the fuck is so shocking about it like what makes you go well now i want to follow that person because they're doing spirit cooking or they're worshiping satan no that's not what it's about it never was about that and you know what it's just the thing is nowadays it's just in our face so much and they can't really hide the facts and they're just out in the open look at thrasher magazine thrasher magazine has a fucking shirt right that kids are wearing with the goat head on it, with the upside down inverted cross, with the number 666, with a pentagram behind it. It's not funny, it's not fun, it's not shocking. It's shocking when we see it. We walked into Spencer's and there was fucking shirts for kids, for kids talking about dismembering your friends. Mm -hmm. It was a shirt, it's a clothing line that thinks it's funny to cook your friends, it was shoving the kids in the oven, dismember your friends, Go make friends with the ghost in the graveyard. It was the weirdest shit when we were in there. And then they have a Baphomet, which is a fucking symbol of Satanism. Stuffed animal. What stuff? What, you're going to give that to a little fucking kid? Like, what the fuck? It doesn't make any sense why this shit has gone into the fucking mainstream. And they take that aside. You got Satanic Shoes. Lil Nas, without his name, that fucking freak show. Right? This dude trying to sell shoes with his blood in it. And they said, well, Nike didn't collab. That was the whole thing. Nike didn't collab with him. How the fuck did the shoes get made? Right? You got shoes with his blood in them, but Nike didn't collab with them? Get the fuck out of here. Right? They put them online for people to buy. Right? You got Tony Hawk, of all fucking people, one of my idols as a kid, have skateboards painted with his blood in the paint. Now, time out. Shock value, whatever. Your blood in the paint? What the fuck is going on? And we think it's normal? We think that's just the way society has gone in that direction since I was a kid? Like it's changed that much? Well, then ask yourself, why? Why is it okay to have blood in your fucking shoes and on your skateboard? Why is it okay to have demonic fucking dolls, right? You see the demonic dolls on TV, Chucky and Annabelle? You fucking run from them. These assholes are buying them and giving them to their kids. They don't even fucking understand what's going on. Their kids are saying, Mom, I want the new Thrasher t-shirt. They're putting on these fucking pentagrams and stuff, and you may not believe it, but the people that believe in that stuff believe that those symbols have great power. Even if you don't know it when you're wearing it, they have great power. Myself, I'm a third-degree master Freemason. I know about symbols. I know about powerful symbols. I know where a lot of these symbols have originally come from and been bastardized so that now they become something evil. Now, not every single one of these symbols is evil or has, you know, like the swastika it came from Buddhism. It was a sign of peace. The Nazis adopted it. But now it's a sign of everything that happened in the Holocaust, of evil, right? So these symbols that were once 
good symbols, right, of goodness have been bastardized and twisted into something that pretty much just predicates evil. They're now the symbols of evil. And I'm just sick of it. I'm tired of it. It's like all around you. And people seem to think that like, you know, well, it's just this. It doesn't affect us. Look at the fucking whirlwind. Look at the shit storm we're in right now. Right? People don't have a fucking concept that's what is going on around them. And parents, I don't even have kids. It's a good thing I don't. This is one of the reasons why I don't. Because the shit that's going on out there right now, the parents have no fucking clue. They're too busy working too many jobs to, to, to support their family because fucking the money goes nowhere nowadays, right? Or they're too busy either working too many jobs or getting fucked up on alcohol and drugs or whatever the fuck else they're doing to notice what the fuck their kids are doing. And some parents don't even raise their kids. They have nannies and them raise the fucking kids for them. So they don't have any concept of what this kid is fucking wearing on their clothes. They have no idea. So the bottom line is, you know what? I'm tired of it. And sometimes it takes one person to speak up. Well, fuck it. I'm that one person. I'm tired. I've had enough. One ember starts a forest fire. I hope it starts a fucking fire. I hope people cancel. I hope this shit fucking goes in a different direction than it is because you keep going in the direction that this asshole is taking you guys, this fucking roller coaster ride. And I'm telling you right fucking now, bad things are going to happen. They're already happening. You think it's going to get fucking better? This motherfucker was literally playing a concert, watching people drop and kept fucking playing as opposed to, again, the Lincoln Park concert where they saw someone fall down, they stopped the concert, and Chester Bennington straight up said, lift them up, please. Lift them up, get them off the ground, lift them up. And they said, we're gonna start the concert again, but what do we do when someone falls? And the whole crowd said, lift them up. Hey, yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Yo. We got a little problem Pick up here. Up. Pick them up right Everybody now. up. Sorry, you guys. We gotta look out for safety first, for real. Nobody gets hurt. That's hey, number yo. one. Hey, yo. We'll play this shit, the whole shit again if you guys get up, if you guys are all right. Okay, watch yourselves. Hey, yo, man. We know we've been stressing all night about being cool, and this is the reason why. Let's go over it one more time. When someone falls, what do you do? When someone falls, what do you do? That's right, people. That's what Lincoln Park did. Travis Scott literally sat there and goes, um, um, he's fucking humming and chanting to this strange, not music. It's a low vibrational frequency. It's not music. You think any sound like, you think that's music? It's a fucking sound. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? It's a low vibrational frequency. And... Many people at that concert were like, I wanted to get the fuck out of there. Like, the girls were passing out. I saw the interviews. They were passing out when that music came on. That frequency, when it came on, they said normally they have DJs playing in between sets. She said this weird sound came on. She said, I felt uncomfortable. My head hurt. She goes, and I woke up on the fucking ground. When the, the, when the frequency stopped, she woke up on the fucking ground. She goes, after the next set, somebody came on the frequency. She goes, I passed out again. She passed out three times. She couldn't get out because to get out, there was no exits. There was only one exit. You had to go out the way you came in. It was this long fucking corridor, and people were still trying to get in because there were so many fucking people there. So you couldn't even get out when you wanted to get out. Like, there is nothing right about this situation whatsoever, and I guarantee you, mark my fucking words, I'm always considered crazy, and two years later, fucking people go, oh, he was right, right? <laughs> mark my fucking, you laugh because you know I'm right. But so many things I've been right about, and I've been made fun of, and fucking people have really fucking given me fucking beatings about it online, but realistically, this shit is fucking real. This shit is fucking real. And now, I got an idea with these two. All right, so now what I'm doing, I'm gonna actually stick these things in a fucking trash bag because I don't want people to find them and actually fucking try to sew them together and fucking clean them or whatever the fuck they would do with them. They'd be like, oh my God, Travis Scott. Fuck Travis Scott. <laughs> fuck him, fuck the horse he rode down on and his entire fucking family. I've had enough. Fuck Travis Scott. And everything about him.